everybody, John here with Cruiser Customizing, back in the shop with our 2016 Can-Am Spider RTS SE6. Today we're going to be wrapping up our two-part video series with all of the products we received from Show Chrome and Hopnail. So stick around and we'll get started. If you missed part one in our series, we installed some products on our Can-Am Spider that helped increase the comfort and the style. We got a wider than stock windshield on here now, a nice chrome cover to dress out the entire cockpit. The driver picked up a new backrest for those really long journeys. That's gonna help you stretch those legs and get nice and comfortable. And not to leave the passenger out, we got some new passenger armrests here on the back. In today's video, however, we're going to concentrate on things that add convenience and protection. The very first products we're going to install is a new phone mount for the handlebars for your driver and for the passenger. They're going to get a new beverage holder right here on the back. Both of these are from Show Chrome. The chrome finish on them is fantastic. It looks great just like every other product from Show Chrome. All of the hardware you're going to need to install these, it's right there in the package. And again, just like all of the other Show Chrome products, you've got a sheet, step-by-step -step directions to get these things installed. These are going to be fairly simple, so let's go ahead and get this knocked out. Now that we're all finished up installing that phone holder for the driver and the cup holder for the passenger, nobody's going to be without tunes or a fresh drink on your next road trip. And to make sure you can stay out as long as you want, we're going to add some more convenience here with this gigantic rear rack we're going to mount right back here on the trunk. This is going to allow us to put some luggage here on the top to drastically increase the length of your next road trip because you'll have a lot more storage out here on the back. So. To get this thing mounted, it's going to be super easy. All we've got to do is drill some holes in this cover. Make sure you take your time, measure twice, drill once. Before we get everything mounted up, we'll actually have to take this cover all the way out. There's six screws right across the back here. It unscrews, we'll take this thing off, drill our holes, put everything back together, mount it back up and we'll be ready to go. So we'll show you the finished product here in just a second.
With our new trunk rack installed, now we can take a look at this deluxe expander duffel bag from Hopnell. This thing's got pockets all over it, and it's really going to increase your storage capacity so you can take those really long road trips. This thing's got pockets all over it, but one thing I want to take a look at real quick are the expander panels on the side. If the normal storage is not enough, you can unzip these bad boys and slide this thing out to the side. Now that's actually gonna cause a little bit of a conflict of interest when it comes to our Can-Am. We've got this tall antenna on here, so we will be replacing it with this shorter spiral antenna. So when these expander panels are pulled out, you're not gonna have any issues with clearance there on the side. Now, to get this thing off of here, whenever you get to your destination, We've got four clips that hold this bag into place. You can unsnap those, grab it off of the back, walk it into your hotel room, and set it down. You don't have to worry about any security issues because it's going to be with you the whole time. So it makes it extremely convenient. At the end of a long day's ride, the very first thing I usually want to do is go and take a nap because I'm usually beat. But for security reasons, a lot of times I'll want to unpack my bags and make sure all my valuables make it into the hotel room with me. Hopnell actually makes that job a whole lot easier. They've got liners that are going to go in all the factory locations on your Can-Am Spider. Each one of these liners is cut to maximize storage capacity while making it super easy to get those bags in to your hotel room, back into the bike, and you'll have everything safe and secure with you all the time. So in the back trunk here, it actually splits out into two separate bags. We've got a smaller and a larger bag just due to the way that that is designed. The Can-Am has very unique luggage on it, and it would be hard to find standard liners that are going to fit in here. But the Hopnell, you can see that they're cut to match every single contour on your Can-Am Spider. And once you get all of these bags out of here, it's going to be hard to carry all of them. So what they've done on this front bag is put backpack straps on there so you can throw that one over your shoulder while you grab everything else and you can make your way to your hotel room to take a nap. One of the other things that Hopnell sent us as well are these dash bags. They've got a tri bag that goes right in between the dash and the windshield. These have double-sided tape. You just peel that stuff off, stick them on there, and you're good to go. If you wanted these off of the vehicle, all you've got to do, pull the Velcro tabs. These are going to stay on the spider, and then you can take those in for security as well. Before we move along to our protection items from Show Chrome, first we got to knock out this extremely difficult antenna install. As you can see as we walk through the steps here, this is probably going to be extremely difficult and you might want to clear your entire afternoon to make sure you have enough time to get it completed. But most people can tackle that one at home with some simple hand tools. Now that that's finished up, We'll go ahead and move on to our protective items. First up, we've got this nose cone protector. This is gonna make sure your Can-Am Spider doesn't bottom out whenever you pull into a parking lot. You've got that vulnerable nose cone up there on the front. It's ABS plastic, it can shatter pretty easy. So to make sure it's protected from the ground whenever you're going up those transitions, we've got these rubber bumpers here across the bottom. That's going to drag against the ground, protecting all of those vulnerable bits. We've also got some replacement pucks that can go on there after they get scuffed up. This thing is meant to be used. It's also nice and pretty because we've got that chrome, show chrome finish all the way across the front. So you'll see that from the front, but the business end is going to be up underneath protecting your ride. Also out on the open road, you're going to be soaking up the miles, but make sure you aren't soaking up any rock chips and blasting out your headlights. These things are easy to install. They've been around for a long time. Nothing too spectacular about them, but when they go on, most people won't even notice that they're there. That's the whole point. You want to stay seamless with the design of your Can-Am. You want everything to look nice and clean and original, but you want it to be protected. So we've got these lens covers. They've got some sticker bumpers there slap them on it's going to make sure those rock chips don't blast out your headlight as you're heading down the road so you can finish your trip every single time with lots and lots of night vision also keeping it clean we've got this mud flap for out back this thing probably going to be a real hard install as well we got some 3m tape a couple little bolts there we'll slap this thing on the back we'll be picking up an extra piece of chrome but the big deal on this one is the fact that it's going to protect you from the elements. Nobody wants to spend hours and hours cleaning their spider after a ride in the rain, so this is gonna make sure you make it home as clean as possible. Let's go ahead and get these knocked out.
Now that we've got our protective components installed, we've got that nose guard up front, the headlight guards, as well as that mud flap out back, it's time to start thinking about protecting our paint. First step in protecting our paint is keeping this thing free from any rock chips, from all that dirt and debris that's out on the road. So we've got a two-piece brawl we'll be installing on this one. We've got one section that goes here on the hood, as well as one section that goes in this vulnerable portion of paint right here at the bottom. These are super easy to install. They've just got some double-sided tape and double-sided Velcro that holds everything in place so you can pop them off whenever it's time to clean everything. And to keep those cleanings to a minimum in between your ride, keep your Can-Am Spider protected from the elements with an Ultra Guard. This thing's tailor-made to fit over top of this beast. If you haven't noticed, the Can-Am Spider does not look like most motorcycles out there. It's got a very unique shape. And this particular Ultra Guard is made to go over top of the tour package that we've got on this particular Spider. We're not gonna use that right now because after I get done, we're gonna go for a ride. So. For the first time ever, I'm going to go ahead and put on my brawl. With everything installed, now let's take a step back and look at our 2016 RTS SE6. On this Spider, we have installed that wider than stock windshield. That's going to increase the airflow around rider and passenger. We've got some style bits up front here and some more convenience items. We've got that phone holder and that chrome cover in that cockpit area. Out back, little comfort for the driver. We've got that awesome backrest and the armrest for the passenger to make sure you don't have to come back before you want to. And if they get thirsty, don't worry about it. They got their own cup holder. If you want to take a ton of luggage with you, we've got it on the inside and the outside. We've got luggage liners in the trunk boxes on the front and back, as well as the saddlebags. We've also added a new trunk rack on the rear portion of our Spider that holds a big, giant, expandable bag that we can put all kinds of goodies in so you can leave and not come back for months at a time because you're going to have everything you need with you. Up front, to add a little protection, we've got that brawl in place and down below our Spider. To keep you away from the curbs, we've got that protector underneath with a little bit of shiny chrome on it as well. Out back, we've added that mud guard to make sure your spider doesn't get any dirtier than it has to if the elements turn bad on you. And to keep everything nice and clean in between your rides, we've also got one of those ultra guard covers that covers the entire spider and protects it from the elements no matter where you're at. So if you're looking for something to increase the convenience, comfort, style, or protection on your Can-Am Spider, Show Chrome's gonna have what you're looking for. So definitely hop on cruisercustomizing.com today and check it out. We've got all of the items you're gonna be looking for and we've got a full array of Show Chrome products for all types of motorcycles and spiders. Also, we've got a subscribe button down in the lower right hand corner. Click on that bad boy so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. We do these little builds every once in a while to showcase some of the products we have available. So click on that subscribe button and you won't miss us next time. Also, comments and questions go in the comment section below. Any questions on these show comb products or any of the products that we carry here at Cruiser Customizing, fire them my way and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Until next time, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and thank you to Show Chrome and Hopnell for sending us over some products to build this Can-Am Spider. Till next time, my name's John. Please ride safe.